Hi everybody, I'm Scott and welcome to my channel. Um, only only a little over a year since my last episode of my few books series. Um, here comes episode four. <laughs> my last episode was on alien archaeology. I'll leave a link to it below because it's been so long since I've uh, talked about it. But I, I presented a few books on that contained alien archaeology in it. And this time I want to talk about um, alternate history. So I've got a few books here that uh, involve alternate history. So first of all, what do I mean by alternate history? So alternate history is a subgenre in science fiction where um, the novelist explores a what if. So um, a historical event resolves differently than it did in real history. And then um, from there, the novelist explores the consequences of that uh, change. So, um, so I'm not talking about books that in which like a time traveler would go back in time and maybe try to change something, you know, uh, stories of, you know, like going back to try to kill Hitler, let's say, or something like that. I'm not talking about that. So there's no time travel in these books. These are books that are... Um, novels that talk about um, you know uh, what if this historical event changed and um, what would have happened had this ended up differently you know so uh, let's go let's go with that so first of all I'm going to start with my favorite one this is my favorite book of alternate history it is called Pavan let me get a better look there it's got a glossy cover Pavan by Keith Roberts. Now, I read this about eight years ago and um, just was completely taken by it. It's it's written, uh, it's it's a fix-up novel, and a fix-up novel is when you take a bunch of stories that are in the same universe and you, you put it together into a novel. Um, so there's five or six stories in here and then something called a coda at the end. And... Um, you know, the, the, the book is not friendly to the Catholic Church, and uh, and I'm a Catholic myself, um, but still, I, I just absolutely loved it. Um, the, the premise is, is that in 1588, Queen Elizabeth I is uh, assassinated, and this prevents uh, a series of events that uh, would have led to the Protestant Reformation never occurred. So... The Catholic Church not only stayed in power, but it increased in power. So that happened in 1588, in a very short prologue to this book. And then you get into the first story, and the first story is set in the 1960s. But in 1960s changed by that change in 1588. So the Catholic Church is uh, in charge, you know, they're in charge uh, politically. So... Um, what what that results in is a slowing of i would say a slowing to a stopping in progress of many different kinds um especially science and technology uh, is what is dealt with a lot here um uh the, the first story for example involves somebody who hauls things for a living he hauls goods and the way he hauls goods is in a is in a train you know like a, a short train like a six car train um, and, uh, the reason that he's not like driving a truck over the road is because the Catholic church has stopped that with a, with a papal bull called petroleum veto. <laughs> so, um, the, the, the Pope himself has, uh, slowed that progress. And, um, but the world that was created out of that is fascinating. And, um, I'm going to take some time to read this again. As I was thinking about this, um, I'm going to read this again. Like I said, it's been eight years since I've read it, and I would like to read it again uh, with my uh, eight years older sensibility. Um, so um, I'm really looking forward to it because, again, these stories are deeply affecting. I remember them uh, very well, and uh, I can't recommend it highly enough. It is just a terrific book of alternate history. So this book was written in 1968, by the way. So the next one I wanted to talk about is, this is called When Angels Wept. Um, this book had a dust cover at one point, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that right here. Um, but my dust cover was mangled by cats, so um, it didn't survive. <clears throat> um, 
But uh, When Angels Wept, the subtitle is A What If History of the Cuban Missile Crisis. And um, so it was written in 2010, and it won the Sidewise Award. Uh, they, they give this award called the Sidewise Award every year for a, a piece of alternate history. Uh, alternate history is popular enough in science fiction that it has its very own award. <laughs> so, um, but it won that year. But this is a unique um, piece of alternate history in my experience um, because it's written as a history book. It's not written as a novel. It's written as a history book written by a historian after the events that take place in the Cuban Missile Crisis and this historian is in Australia. And um, the reason he's writing from Australia is because the things that went down in the Cuban Missile Crisis in this book, uh, things got much worse uh, than they were. Um, because the Cuban Missile Crisis, we were, we were very close to um, a nuclear exchange in that um, crisis. <clears throat> so the book progresses. Um, it's, a, it's a very interesting history book. Um, for, you know, probably like the first half, you're, you're just like, okay, okay, you know, I understand, you know, talking about JFK, um, so, um, you know, and, and, and his cabinet, you know, and Khrushchev and everybody. <clears throat> and then um, the event that uh, sends things into a different direction is that the U-2 that was going to fly over Cuba was delayed. And because it was delayed, that set into motion a series of events. Um, you know, so, so, uh, Swedeen is the author, uh, Eric G. Swedeen is, um, showing us that how, how very close we were, um, how this incredible thread, you know, this incredible, very tight spot we sailed through, um, to get on the other side of that Cuban Missile Crisis without it being much, much worse. But in his book, things got much, much worse. Um, and it is very well written. Again, written as a history book. I, I can't recommend it enough. Um, very, very good. Eric G. Swedeen, When Angels Wept. And then the last one that I'm going to talk about, um, I can't, you know, a science fiction fan can't really talk about alternate history without talking about Harry Turtledove. And if you talk about Harry Turtledove, there's probably 20 books that you could pick. Um, so I picked In the Balance by um, Harry Turtle Love. It's called World War in the Balance. <clears throat> and um, I don't seem to have a copy of that anymore, um, but I kind of want to read it again. So um, I'm thinking about it, but it's the first of four books. And then I think he did a little bit more after that, after that first set of four. But what this book is, is it's 1941. Um, World War II is uh, well underway. And um, then aliens invade. Um, so suddenly, the entire world is turning their gaze upon uh, another set of invaders other than fellow humans. So now they are fighting and they're joining together to fight the external threat. So it's super interesting. You've got, um, I mean, so many characters from World War II in this. You've got, you know, Roosevelt and Churchill and Stalin and Hitler. Einstein, I mean, th th you know, just everybody that was there, you know, that, that Turtle Dove wanted to use in this book, he did. And um, fascinating stuff. It, it's, it's, uh, it's very, very interesting. <clears throat> and again, it's a little four book set, you know, and they're all called World War. So, um, so yeah, you know, uh, so some other things that I was thinking about, you know, besides those three, those few books. Um, I was thinking about uh, an author that I like a lot and I've talked about on the channel. His name is Tim Powers. And Tim Powers likes to do, um, it, it's, it's it, hard to call it alternate history, but I guess it kind of is. But what he likes to do is take historical events and then have some possibly mysterious event that occurred, you know, that, that people maybe aren't really sure about what happened there and then he'll give it a supernatural explanation and then he'll write his novel like that you know so the first one that comes to mind is declare and i just thought of this i wasn't really planning on talking about that but um let me just grab there it is declare so declare this is a cold war kind of a cthulhu 
a Lovecraftian novel, uh, Cold War Spies and Lovecraftian stuff. So totally recommend that. Tim Powers declare. So um, there you go. So there's a few books about or, or a few books that, that do alternate history. So um, I would love to hear any examples that you have. Um, feel free to leave that in the comments. I would love to hear some titles. Um, what are your favorite pieces of alternate history? And uh, thanks a million for watching and we'll see you very soon.